Hey guys, it's Bonnie from Boulder Bond. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be setting up my February month at a view and my February notes kit in my Erin Condren Life Planner. Now I grabbed the brand new Llama Love collection that just came out. I am so excited. These llamas are so stinking cute. So let's go ahead and start with the notes kit this time. I usually start with the monthly pages, but I've been getting a lot of questions recently on how to put down the sticker strips on the note page so I wanted to go over that really quickly for you guys I know a lot of you have already seen me put these down but I like to line up the top border um, right on top of the little page flag now I think the neutral planner doesn't have the page flag so I just put it right up until the edge of the paper um, and it works perfectly and then the two large sticker strips I like to turn the planner horizontally to put down and line it up against the edge of the lines um, and the bottom of the lines as well. Um, sometimes I put the header down a little crooked so it just makes sense to line it up against the lines and not necessarily against the stickers. So you can see that was super easy to put down. Now this note kit also comes with headers, blank headers, and cute little hearts. Now I like to use the right side for a to-do list so things for my YouTube channel Etsy and personal life so all anything that I need to do um, will go on here I also like to use one for my goals section and uh, for events so birthdays anniversaries anything um, that will be coming up for the month I like to write down there now I also decided to use one of the blank headers this month because I have been and like writing down things that I need to buy um, just on post-it notes so I figure it to have them here be a better option than a post-it note which happens to get lost quite often in my office and I tend to write down things that I need to buy on the to-do list anyway so to have another section I think is going to work out this month. Now I'm also grabbing some little money sign stickers from one of my budget kits and I know I have been promising you guys a budget video that is finally coming out this Monday so if you guys are not subscribed to my channel and want to see that video don't forget to hit the subscribe button now. So I'm just finishing off with my notes kit writing in to buy. I also want to put down of course my little Boulder Bond logo. So I'm going to put that over the cute little cloud in the left hand corner. Now the top box um, I like to use as a quote box or a word of the month something that I want to focus on. If you guys want to see what that is then follow me on Instagram that's where I usually show all of the after the video pictures. So moving on to the monthly view. I do like to work on one side at a time when I am putting down the top borders just like the notes kit. So these are very long headers. Now with these I like to line them up against the day. So um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and then I'm going to do the same exact thing to the other side. Um, you could line it up against the pink little header above the note section as well um, but I tend to stick with line it up, up against the um, days that way I know that everything is centered oh and by the way guys today I am going to be coming out with monthly kits for the happy planner you guys have been asking me forever to make these monthly kits for the happy planner and you know now that I have one I can see why because um, the days of the week are completely different on the happy planner so you guys do have to finagle around um, with the kits and also it is a lot like thinner up top as well so now I will have February and March happy planner kits available in the shop today I believe that it is going to be going out at 5 p.m. Eastern time so stay tuned for that along with tons of other new releases as well so I am finishing off my sidebar now now in the happy planner it's going to be a little bit different the sidebar is going to have all of the boxes that I showed you but they're also going to have a lot more um, of the quarter boxes because there is some space in between that um, so instead of making five of the boxes I just included 
extra quarter boxes. So if you guys want to see a video on me setting up my monthly view in my happy planner, let me know down below. Maybe I can do it for March so that way you're not seeing the exact same um, llama love kit, although it looks super cute because I already have it down in my happy planner and there is already a picture of it on Instagram. So if you guys want to take a peek of it, um, look over on Instagram. Now I'm also putting down all of my um, um, holiday stickers. That's another thing I wanted to mention. I am keeping these the exact same in the Happy Planner, just a little bit different sizing. Um, but in the Happy Planner, they don't have a lot of these holidays that I have in the Erin Condren. And instead of taking them away, I thought I would leave them. But you guys will have to look up the dates because they are not there for you. So I figured that is something that you guys may or may not care about. I didn't want to put the number numbers on like Groundhog Day just because it didn't really look all that great. So let me know down below what your guys' opinions are of that. So I am finishing up here with putting in the um, full boxes up top. And then I'm going to write in like my YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and my Create Joy subscribers in the empty box. That's what I typically like to do with my monthly spread. So um, for my Erin Condren, this is mainly for my YouTube channel where I like to plan out all of my upcoming videos. So my schedule right now is Monday videos and Friday videos. So I do have a lot of the little quarter um, boxes, quarter boxes, little page flags left from the sheet. So I'm going to put those all down on Monday. Now, Monday's typically my plan with me um, videos. I'm just writing in PWM on the page flags. And then to the right is when I will write in the video. And then I'm going to grab my sticker album here. Now, if you guys have not seen my sticker album setup, up. I'll leave a little card in the right hand corner if you guys want to check it out. It's where I keep all of my Boulder Bond sticker sheets. Now I have been um, changing all of my sticker sheets to have a little sidebar so that you can punch them and put them in without any page sleeve or anything so you guys can just pull your stickers off as you are planning. So I'm using my film edit and upload stickers for my Friday videos. So I'm just finishing up here. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my February monthly setup and my notes kit. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching everyone and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!